Today we're going to take a look at standard 6.10a which states the student is expected to model and solve one variable one step equations and inequalities that represent problems including geometric concepts. I'd like to share with you some information about this standard that comes from TEA. It comes from the Mathematics Teach Supporting Information document for grade 6. In that document it states that equations and inequalities may include integers and positive rational number coefficients and constants. It also states that geometric concepts may include complementary and supplementary angles. So since the standard says model and solve, let's discuss models. So the models can be concrete, pictorial, or algebraic. An example of a concrete model um, are algebra tiles, which are square or rectangular shaped tiles that represent numbers and variables. Using algebra tiles provides students with a visual representation for solving equations and inequalities. An example of a pictorial model is a strip diagram. Strip diagrams are tools designed to help students solve math, math word problems accurately and efficiently. Students model mathematical relationships and identify known and unknown quantities. The model provides students with an image that organizes information and simplifies the problem solving process. An example of algebraic is it could be represented as an equation or an inequality. Let's talk a little bit more in depth about geometric concepts. So complementary angles are two angles whose degree measures have a sum of 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles whose degree measures have a sum of 180 degrees. The triangle inequality theorem is um, a concept that students also learn in grade six, um, which states that the sum of the lengths of any two sides in a triangle must be greater than the length of the third side in a triangle. Students also learn the triangle sum theorem in grade six, which is the sum of the three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So now let's look at an example for this standard. Holly bought a magazine subscription for a year. She paid $27. Holly wanted to find the price P of the subscription each month. She created the model shown to help find this price. What is the price of the subscription each month? So the model that is provided here is a strip diagram. The way this is set up, students may um, come up with one or two different types of equations. Some students may look at this and say, oh, okay, so P is just 27 divided into 12 equal parts. So some students may represent this problem and model by using the equation P equals 27 divided by 12. Other students might look at this and say, oh, well, there's 12 P's total, and those 12 P's equal 27. So from this one-step equation, the students would have to isolate the variable p by doing the opposite of multiplying by 12, which is dividing both sides of the equation by 12, which would give p equals 27 divided by 12. So either way the students set up the, the equation, they're still going to have to do the same process of dividing 27 by 12. So let's figure out, let's go ahead and determine what is 27 divided by 12, and of course to do that we are just going to use the standard algorithm to determine how many times 12 will divide into 27 and using the stand standard algorithm we get that P equals 2.25 so how much is the cost of the subscription each month? $2.25